Hi YouTube, it's Hava. I wanted to show you my latest cloth pad haul from the Silver Liner. Every year on her birthday, Carrie Flynn, the owner of the Silver Liner, holds a birthday patch bash where she has a lot of things on really big discounts, um, and I was able to get a bunch of things this year. The first thing to note is that things come in a very, you know, blah package. It just has her name and address and my name and address on the other side, but there's nothing to show that this is feminine products, so you don't need to be all embarrassed. Then she takes the time to tie her orders up with a nice ribbon and a little index card that tells you how to clear for your cloth pads and um, how to tell what absorbency you have based on the color coding of the snaps. So let's see what we got. The first pad I got was this 8 inch penny tea liner in her contour style in desert batik. Um, it's a really pretty pattern, I like it a lot. There's no waterproof layer each side, it's just, and there's very little absorbency, just a thin layer of flannel in there probably. Um, but this will be great for light days when I'm just having some spotting um, or to absorb extra discharge um, during pregnancy, which hopefully will be a problem I'll be having soon. Um, then I got three regular pads. This is the only one that I got that was minky topped. Um, these are all second quality. Um, this one I can actually tell what's second quality about it. If you look, you can see like the ripples. The minky is not lying totally flat, but that's going to be fine. I'm sure it's not going to affect the function or comfort at all. Um, and this is a beautiful blue swirls pattern, regular absorbency, and then the Win Pro on the back. And beautiful matching snaps. And this is her newer style that she's trying out. Um, I forget what she's calling it, I think maybe TSM, but basically, rather than having the absorbency go all the way through the wings, the absorbency stops here, making it a little bit trimmer, but if you are someone who bleeds more heavily, and especially on the sides of your pads, that might not be desirable. So I'm really looking forward to trying this out, and it's a really nice, relatively low pile minky. It feels good. Then I got this one, which is her older contour style. Again, a seconds pad. There's nothing that I can tell that's wrong with this pad at all. It's a beautiful pattern called Sonoma. And I love the color of that snap right there. And it's this cotton top, Win Pro back, regular absorbency, absolutely beautiful. Then this is the pad in the order that I was most excited about. Again, it's that newer style that doesn't have the absorbency in the wings, so it should be trimmer. It has this stitching to kind of keep everything in the center. And this pattern is called Purple Fans, and I love it. It's beautiful. It has a nice wind pro on the back, and the snaps match the purple beautifully. These last two pads are what she calls her economy pads, where they're made of right just like to help her use up fabrics so that things don't necessarily match or look pretty. Um, they aren't necessarily the material she would always use, but um, they're a cheaper way to get your stash started. And here are the two that I got. Now you can tell they're not super, super pretty, but that's not the point of an economy pad. The point of an economy pad is to get something to round off your stash um, and try cloth pads out uh, more cheaply. Now these ones she actually had were second quality economy pads because she was trying out this new style with the stitching and experimenting with different distances and stuff like that. So here you can tell the stitching's not quite as perfect as her stitching usually is. Here it's not quite as regular with the stitching not lining up perfectly. But they're going to be great functional pads. This one over here feels a little bit more absorbent, a little thicker than this one. And they both have like weird unmatching fleece on the back. But that's fine. Um, these are only 37 cents in her birthday bash and I think they're going to work great. They'll be great pads to leave in the car or just have at the bottom of my pile as extras when I need them. Um, so that's my stash from the Silver Liners birthday bash. Um, I hope you'll check it out next year. Have a great day. Bye.